Hey guys, it's Meg and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. I am so excited for the next series of videos that I'm going to be uploading because we have a very exciting trip planned. So we are going to Paris for four days. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I've been waiting so long for this. If you are subscribed to my channel, you may have seen that I actually went to Paris um, in June, literally for not even a day. That was literally like 12 hours in Paris. <laughs> this trip's extra exciting because we are going with my aunt, uncle, and cousins they are joining us and I actually cannot wait like the day that I'm filming this we're actually leaving for Paris tomorrow which is going to be the 4th of August we're staying until the 8th of August traveling back on the 8th so we've got four days in Paris four and a bit days because tomorrow we get into Paris fairly early not early early but you know like early afternoon we kind of have like the evening in Paris so four days in a bit but the plan is we're going to Disneyland Paris for two days and we're going to Maine Central Paris for the day and then any remaining time that we have before we have to travel back because we do have a late ferry booked on the 8th so we may be able to spend a bit more time in the city before we come home I'm so excited because especially my aunt uncle and cousins are coming like it's just gonna be so much fun we've actually been meaning to plan a Disney trip for literally five years now <laughs> during COVID because we we're meant to to go to Disneyland Paris my 18th birthday and then obviously that got cancelled and that's and that's when my aunt uncle and cousins were meant to come with us and then every time after that it's just never lined up but finally we're going to Disneyland Paris with them and I'm so so excited so why don't you come and pack with me <laughs> do you know what also is so excited about this trip is we're actually bringing my dog Willow oh. are you joking this is literally going to be her first holiday her first holiday I actually cannot wait this is the first time that we've taken Willow abroad anywhere so I'm so excited she's such a city dog she absolutely loves travel so I think she'll be absolutely fine I'm going to do a video on how to take your dogs abroad that's something you guys know, may be interested in or if you have any pets you'd like to take on holiday because if you can take your pets on holiday it's a really nice thing to do so Without further ado, let's just get started packing because I have no time to waste. I have to bath Willow. She needs a little bit of a trim. I need to pack her stuff. I need to pack my stuff. I need to shower. I need to do my nails. It's the whole thing. My dad and I just ran some errands this morning, got the last few bits. So now I'm ready to pack. I did actually write down a list last night just to get my bearings together and like make sure I didn't forget the important. This isn't everything I need. This is just like the main stuff that I could forget. So all in there. Right, let's get my suitcase. Also, sorry if the lighting in this video is bad. I'm not putting my ring light on because it's way too hot. And it is like middle of the day. So I'm very sorry about the cast of shadows on my face right now. <laughs> my mum and I are sharing a case. So we have this big old, big old luggage case here. So my mum's currently working. So that's why I'm like, I'm gonna pack first. <laughs> Okay, I'm so sorry. Is this angle really bad? There we go. I hope that's better. This is the best time I can come up with, okay? Okay, so I'm actually gonna start with Willow's essentials because I can always buy stuff. Worst case scenario, if I forget something really important, I could probably more than likely purchase it out there. But I do just wanna get Willow's stuff prepped and in here. So it's just, it's in here. So I don't need to think about it again. So first thing she's gonna need is her bed and cooling mat. I'm not gonna pack that because we're actually gonna have her lying in her bed in the car with her cooling mat. Don't worry, we've got it figured out. So I don't need to pack that yet. And also she needs that for tonight. So I've got a lot of Willow stuff here that I can pack because obviously a lot of her other stuff like her food, I can't pack yet because she still needs that tonight and tomorrow morning. Lead kind of like everyday stuff that she uses i can't pack that just yet i was gonna put it in the suitcase but i think i'm actually gonna put all of willow stuff or majority of willow stuff in this little like carry-on bag it was to disneyland last time and it works like a charm it's really spacious and it's it's just easy access because the suitcase is going to be strapped to the roof of our car so <laughs> they're not exactly going to be easy access um, especially when we're driving for hours so i'm just gonna put stuff that i don't think she'll need like at hand in the suitcase okay so first thing that i'm gonna put in the suitcase is willow's dog harness so this is like a front carrier you literally put willow in here and we carry her like this she gets tired quite easily um she's naturally a little bit of a lazy dog so and she's small as well she's only got little legs and because we're gonna be walking around in paris a lot she might get tired. We may not need to use this. She may be raring to go because it's new smells, new environment, but we've just got it in case she gets tired so we can pick her up and it's no way on either of us. Next, I have two collapsible bowls. So I have her water bowl and her food bowl. I'm gonna put her food bowl in here, but I am gonna put her water bowl in the carry-on tote bag because when we're on the ferry, I probably haven't mentioned this, we're going on the ferry. And you know, when we're on the ship, she might be thirsty. So it's good to have the water bowl at our disposal. Anti-back wipes, these are essential for any occasion, us, 
willow, whatever. It's handy to have, so I put them in there as well. So on the days that we're in the parks, we're putting her in the animal care center, which is actually on Disneyland property. Again, I'm gonna show that on all the vlogs that are to come. Yeah, there's a little animal daycare center, so we're gonna put willow in there for the day. We're not keeping her there overnight, obviously, because we have our Airbnb. But so she feels a little bit like home. She's not too anxious. We've got some disposable toys. So we've got two toys for the Airbnb, which are gonna be clean and we're gonna keep. And these two toys we're gonna throw away after she's been in the kennels. We're gonna give her a toy a day in the doggy daycare. And then once we pick her up, we're gonna throw these away. Only reason we're throwing them away is because we don't like cross contamination. We don't want her to catch anything. She's been vaccinated. She's had all of the stuff she needs, but you know, just to be safe. So a little bit of comfort while she's in the kennels, but also so we're not risking like cross contamination. So they're both squeaky. Poo bags, we're gonna need a disposal of that. Ah, right, what else have I got on the list? So dog spray, I will get in a minute. Right, let me go down in the kitchen and get some other bits that she may need. <laughs> okay, I have a few more bits. Okay, I just got these. These are her fish skin flatties. These are the treats she loves. They're great for dental health. But why am I like reviewing the products? <laughs> Do you even care? I don't know. Anyway, I'm packing it. Making dog spray because who knows, she may get along with stinky. So we got to take some dog spray. This is the best. Right, if you have a dog, get this spray for your dog. They literally smell out of this world like so i've put all of willow's stuff that she's not going to need easy access to in there great but what i think i'm going to do i'm going to put all of it in this tote bag and put it in the suitcase just so it's all together because i feel like that's just going to get muddled for a while it's going to be easy to keep track of yada 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 i'm so sweaty i'm so sorry if i'm appearing really sweaty in this video but the flower should just fit in i should put this in first i'm so stupid there we go. It's all nice, it's all together. I put the spray in there. Oh, I do need to take that up actually because I don't trust that it's not going to leak. There you go, that'll do it. Close <laughs> stuff. Done. Again, just PSA. Again, just a little PSA. That's not all of Willow's stuff. Obviously, I need to pack her food in that, but I can't pack that because she still has to eat tonight and tomorrow morning. Right, let's move on to my clothes. I have this shin bag and I've literally just put all my underwear in it. That'll be quite handy go in there some outfit options i'm just gonna pack a few tops and certain bottoms and then leave it that should be all right I have this little tube top which will be cute this like corset with like a renaissance painting on it um really pretty i got this from depop i have this lace top absolutely love this top it's a staple it goes with everything i've got this like stretchy like square neck top i've got a lot of white tops purely because of my bottoms that i'm bringing for example i have this gorgeous long skirt which you would have seen in a summer haul i did recently this just screams like summer in paris to me so i'm gonna bring that as an option pack that in there like, i have this beautiful skirt that i bought off shin recently and it's like a pencil skirt but it's oh it's just so flowy and pretty this is one of the skirts i'm gonna wear in one of the park days it's a score but it's like gym legging like nylon material it's so stretchy so soft and comfy and it has built-in shorts so i think it'll be perfect for the park and then i do just have some staple cargo jeans which i am actually gonna wear traveling tomorrow so i'm not going to pack that got a pj top this is literally from primark it's got dumbo on it i would take this to all my disney trips it's just become my travel t-shirt now let's move on to some accessories i'm gonna pack you may be seeing this in the corner of your eye i bought this disney x coat terry recently um i had the nalita for my last trip but it just wasn't big enough i absolutely love the bag it just wasn't big enough so i upgraded to a terry and she's beautiful 100 percent gonna take her in the parts of me I'm gonna take her crossbody strap as well, just so I have the two options to wear. Initially, I know I'm gonna to wanna to wear it as a shoulder bag, but then after a while, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm tired now, where's this crossbody strap? <laughs> Such a spacious bag. Like, it looks tiny, but I promise you, it fits your life in it. So I know this will be really great for in the park. That's gonna go there. Right, I actually never wear slippers, like, in my own house. I just don't tend to wear them, but whenever I travel or go to a hotel, I always bring slippers with me, so that is a must. I don't care how clean the floor is or how good the ratings are, I will always bring slippers to a hotel. Look how cute these slippers are. They're so comfy as well, they're so soft. Um, they're little pink Mickey fluffy ones from the Disney store. I'm also gonna pack this bag because I think one of my outfits will look really good with this um, because of one of the ears that I'm bringing. So I'm gonna pack that. This is literally just from Primark and just good to have as an option. Half this case is gonna be full of my mum's stuff as well. So I am being considerate, <laughs> just so you know. Um, right, what else, what else? Lint roll. 
dollars. These are so handy. I don't need free rolls. Bring two just in case. Be Apply an easy access because we've got Willow of us all day. Like we're gonna need access to that. Okay, what five packs so far? Yep. Yeah, we're making our way down the list guys. We're making our way there. Now let's go into what I pack in like individual pouches because that's quite important. I have designated pouches. This one is going to be for skincare. Um, again, I'm not going to pack that too much yet because I still need my skincare for tonight and tomorrow. This is going to be my makeup bag. This is always my makeup bag. This is from Skinny Dip. I absolutely love when you open it. It's like structured. Yeah, I take this all time traveling. It fits my whole face in it. Love it. <laughs> I have this benefit bag. I have this little benefit makeup bag, super cute. <laughs> and in here, I'm gonna pack all of like our medication. I'm gonna pack pills, plasters, also stuff like Bongella because I have an ulcer at the moment, which is really annoying. Ibuprofen because it's, it's just better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? Like, hell of a lot of plasters. Allergy because me and my mum suffer really, really bad of hay fever. Bongella because, like I said, I have an ulcer at the moment. Love that for me. I put that in easy access. Hand cream, dry rescue. Absolutely love this one. It dries really quickly so it doesn't leave like a grease on your hands. I've got this self tan eraser mousse. This is in case my tan looks absolutely awful like it's streaky it's patchy i cannot stop like i cannot fix it in time and i just need to wash it off and start again i'm literally at the end of my toothpaste so i am gonna bring a new one i also found this little mini micellar water in my bathroom cupboard and it's brand new like this will be perfect for travel so a hairbrush again i'm gonna pack that in easy to access because again my hair gets quite knotty especially for on the ferry i need another coach bag i think i'm gonna bring another one what one shall i bring i don't know okay i'm just looking at my cupboards like what i need i found my little q-tip box which i got from um florida when we went in like 2019. This is specifically for Q-tips and I remember I was like, I'm gonna keep this whenever I travel, I'm gonna use this. Okay, I'm just getting my jewelry together. I am a jewelry girly through and through. I absolutely love jewelry. It just really makes an outfit for me. So I'm gonna pack my favorites. Also, as well as my Disney jewelry. I absolutely love Disney jewelry just because of how subtle it is. So I'm gonna show you some of the pieces I'm gonna be taking. So first I have this necklace which says my name. Overall, I'm definitely more of a silver girl, but I saw this last time I went to Disney and I had to purchase it. It was just gorgeous. So this was from Disneyland Paris. It's a little Mickey and a star and it's just so pretty. So I have my little heart locket from Brandy Melville. This is actually my favorite necklaces. I might repurchase it because it is slowly starting to tarnish. So I might repurchase this when I go back. This is a little choker. I got it from Disneyland Paris and it says magic little mickey head but it is so dainty and it's so gorgeous i just love it so then also i'm just gonna take this little like fake pearly you know like sea choker kind of thing again super cute literally from primark it's tarnished but because it's mainly like this pearl stuff it doesn't rub off on your neck so it's all good <laughs> i'm gonna be taking all of them in this little like pouch thing and then i have packed some rings and earrings oh i have these as well these from disney world i take these every single trip so they're basically this little set of mickey necklace and earrings they're quite subtle very cute i had this since 2019 and it's not tarnished so it's perfect absolutely love that so i'm taking them as well and these are all my other little rings and um earrings that i'm taking so let me show you i got this on my birthday disney trip um for my parents and it's the beauty and the beast of pandora rose I absolutely love this i literally wear this almost every single day um absolutely love it so i have this little mickey head which is from primark this adorable little rainbow kind of disney ring i got this in disneyland in the summer last year when we went again i vlogged that trip it's on my channel if you want to go watch it these are like one one of my everyday rings as well i stack them so the bottom one is of crescent moon from pandora and the top one is one that i got in london just these cheap earrings from primark but i thought they're quite cute other earrings which i wear quite a lot a little sterling silver ring with like three little hearts on it i love that ring again i'm gonna wear that tomorrow this is a little mickey mouse kind of like gem diamante one from primark and then this one which reminds me of the flower from tangled so have that as well cute jewelry is set i'm gonna put that in my skincare actually okay i don't need all of my lip products i think that's a little bit excessive meg um just take a few um i definitely need that definitely need that i can do about the rest this kiko and lip injection by Too faced these actually are my favorites ever i'm gonna take my little paris compact mirror which i actually got last time i was in paris my little wet ones wipes this will just go in my normal handbag i think 
actually stop it let's just put it in there for now okay i have some more stuff here so i have this which is heat protectant spray i'm showering tonight but i don't think i'm gonna bother using it i'm just gonna pack it i've got dry shampoo here as well so let's actually put that in there dry shampoo is a savior these are like little essentials to me whenever i go to disney i have to take fresh Polaroid film. Honestly, it's like a tradition of mine. These are all of the Polaroids that I took from my Disney trips, from my birthday trips to last summer, like every time I go to Disney. Some of them turn out really well, some of them don't, but like, yeah, every time I've gone to Disney, it, I've made it like a little tradition to just take Polaroids. I keep that tradition up. So yes, that is not going to stop at this trip either. So I have 40 film. So I have some for Disney and I also have some for main Paris. I'm actually gonna put some film in my camera now, just so it's set, because I might want to take some on the ferry, who knows? I'm such a planner, like I'm such a prepper. I'm packing, I'm such, I just prep every possible scenario. Well, I'm joking, that was just the cover. <laughs> Perfect, that's all ready to use now. I have this case from Urban Outfits, it's so cute, but it's like broken, like the magnet doesn't stick anymore. Skincare is done, that I can throw away. Ears! Ears are of, you know, part of a Disney outfit. So I am going to take three. I have four pairs, so I'm going to take my, almost my whole collection. Because I don't know exactly fully what I'm going to wear, so maybe I might want to switch it off that. I'm taking my classic mini ears. I got these from Disney World. My Tiana ears. I absolutely love the colour scheme of these. Um, so I'm definitely taking these. And these I haven't worn, so I really want to make a conscious effort to try and wear these with my outfit because I haven't worn these yet. And what's the point of having them if I'm not going to wear them? Do you know what I mean? Uh, these are actually part of the Disney 100 celebration. Um, and these are Enchanted Ears, and I grew up loving Enchanted, so this is literally me in ears. Um, let's put them, I guess, in here. It's probably good. Ears done. Tan, I'm not packing because I'm gonna do that tonight. Uh, hairbrush. Uh, I need Willow's hairbrush, that's what I need. Tripod I'm filming with, so I'm gonna pack that as soon as I'm done with this video. It's a charging case, which is this. I take this every single trip. Amazing, literally saved my phone. Um, I do need to charge this though, so I'm gonna leave that there. Got antibacterial wipes again. Because I've got the ones in my bag, these are exposed. Okay, I'm gonna put the sealed ones in my bag. I'm gonna put these in the suitcase because these are exposed. Stay removing wipes. These are actually a lifesaver. Like this is how I know I'm becoming an adult because these excite me. Stain removing wipes from M&S. Oh my God, if you live in the UK and you have an M&S near you, literally go buy these. These are literally, it's like a, a, literally like a rubber. Honestly, crazy, get rid of any stains. They are an essential for me, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. I think I might take my tabby. Should I take my tabby? I'm trying to think the outfits I've got. Tabby go with a lot of the others. I'm gonna take my moss tabby as well. Um, basically looks like this. I took this last time to Paris and she was beautiful. It might be good for central Paris. Okay, obviously I'm gonna pack like my toothbrush, uh, my cleanser, and like my retainer and stuff, but obviously I need that for tonight. So I can't really pack that now. I'm gonna loosely put this in there. Makeup bag, might as well just stay out because again, I need to pack as I go. Okay, hold on, let me just do a quick, let's get out of my room and see if I need anything else. I know I need to put shoes in here, but again, now nah, I'm gonna get the shoes to put them back in. <laughs> also, I am taking this dress. I'm wearing this to one of the park days. Is it practical? No, but that's why I've got shorts on, but it's so cute. Absolutely love this dress, so I am gonna wear this. Okay, I have actually packed a little bit of my makeup bags. Let me just show you roughly what I'm taking. Back for Prime Setting Spray. These two lip liners from e.l.f. Eyelash curler. Some glosses. I know I have my Kiko gloss, but I also have this Clinique one and this one from Fenty Beauty. I absolutely love these. Have some hair ties. I have some eyeliner. I have a liquid liner and I also have a pencil. I have a brand new bottle of my Kylie Cosmetics Power Plush foundation. I'm going to be wearing the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but because I'm running really low, I got a backup um, in case I do run out while I'm on the trip. So this is my backup one, but it's literally... I'm not gonna lie, it pretty much does the exact same as the MAC one does. So if you have the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but you don't wanna pay literally 30 quid for it. Okay, that's a bit dramatic. Is it, it's like 25 pound, but still, that's so much for a concealer. Are you kidding me? So yeah, I have this one now and it works like just as well as that. I also have a lip scrub. So that's what I've packed in there so far because I won't really need that tomorrow. 
I'm gonna say book with me. Um, I am almost done reading this. This is If You've Been With Me by Laura Norwin. And it's really good so far. I'm really enjoying it. So I am gonna be editing on the journey, but also my eyes do get quite tired from editing. So I might want a break and just want to read for a bit. If I'm editing, I'm gonna take my blue light glasses and these are from Phi2. Uh, trying to think what else. I know I said I was gonna pack shoes, but I think I'm gonna wait a bit for that. Okay, I think I've packed pretty much majority of everything that I need. Obviously I'll update you at the end of the video in case I add anything extra, but pretty much that's all that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from myself. I have so many fun videos coming in the next few weeks. So if you wanna see my Disney trip and my days in Paris, then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. You're not gonna to wanna to because they're gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.